From teacher to a politician, we'll be talking about how Ntombele Mkize's political dream turned into a legal nightmare. Stick right there and watch the video till the very end. Well, Ntombele Mkize, a former teacher from the KwaZulu Natal, made headlines when she left her teaching job to pursue her passion for politics. Well, she joined the MK party led by former president Jacob Zuma hoping to make a difference in the political landscape of South Africa. However, her political journey took an unexpected turn when she, along with more than eight other members of parliament, was fired from the party. Now, Nkrize and the other dismissed members are fighting for their return to parliament, while their case is scheduled to be heard in the Western Cape High Court from September 2nd to September 3rd, this 2024. Well, to better understand Nkrize's situation, it's important to grasp the current political climate here in South Africa. The MK party, led by Jacob Zuma, is relatively new but has gained significant traction, particularly among Zuma supporters who feel that the ANC has failed them. The party's appeal lies in its promise to restore the ideals of the liberation struggle and put the country back on the path of justice and equality. For individuals like Ntombele Mkize, joining this party was a way to contribute to this cause and stand with a leader she deeply admired. However, political dynamics can be ruthless and Mkize quickly discovered how fragile a political career can be. After being elected as an MP, she found herself unexpectedly dismissed from the party. Why the exact reasons for her dismissal remain unclear, reports suggest that procedural irregularities and internal power struggles could have played a part. Mkize and her fellow former member of parliament are not giving up easily. They have taken their case to the Western Cape High Court, challenging their dismissals and seeking reinstatement as member of parliament and party members. They also want compensation for the emotional and financial damage that has been caused. But do you think Jacob Zuma is really going to get them back? I mean, this is something that is making so many rounds. And if you should ask me, I think this is something that cannot even happen because you all know what can actually be at stake if Jacob Zuma should decide to take them back. Well, Mkize and our fellow member of parliament are not giving up, like we earlier said. Right now, their legal team has argued that their dismissals were not handled fairly and that proper procedures were not followed. This, they claim, goes against the party's own regulations and the principles of justice and fairness. Well, as the court case approaches, all eyes are on the Western Cape High Court to see if Mkrize and her colleagues will be reinstated or if their political careers will come to an abrupt end. While well, the case of Ntombele Mkrize sheds light on the challenges that individuals face when they transition from regular careers into the unpredictable world of politics. Mkrize, who left everything behind, we're talking about a stable teaching job for the uncertainty of a political career now finds herself in a legal battle that could make or break her future. Well, her story serves as a reminder that the political arena can be unforgiving and loyalty to a cause or leader does not always guarantee stability or success. Moreover, this case highlights some of the internal conflicts within political parties here in South Africa. The fact that a relatively new party like MK is already facing such internal divisions raises questions about its ability to sustain itself in the long run. Well, I don't know about you all, but do you think Ntombele Mkize and the other dismissed member of parliament should be reinstated into the MK party? Leave your thoughts just down in the comment section.